How do you make the fastest Power Mac 5 even faster? My Power Mac 5 has got apparently everything. Has got the two dual-core PowerPC G5 processors, 8 gigs of DDR2 ECC RAM. I could of course upgrade it to 16, but I never get to use all the memory, so it's just a waste of money. I've also got the fastest graphics card available for PowerPC Max, the Quadro FX 4500. And I'm also using RAID 0 SSD bootable disks. And if you need more details, check the video link on the description for more details. And best some benchmark numbers. Please mind that since I'm operating RAID 0 out of SSDs, I have mandatory regular backups. So, you know, when I'm using the computer for serious work, I know my data is safe. Well, the only possibility for expanding this machine now is to leverage the PCIe slots. So, there are two easy options available. <coughs> Sorry. PCI Express attached storage or a PCI Express H.264 video decoder card. I'm going to pursue both projects to build the fastest PowerPC Mac ever, but initially I want to achieve the fastest possible storage performance in a PowerPC Mac. Then I'm probably going to settle on a PCI Express storage plus a decoder card kind of a hybrid solution. But you can't boot from a PCI SSD on PowerPC Max. Or can you? My plan is simple. I will choose a suitable PCI Express storage solution, see if macOS can recognize it. I'm not very worried about Linux since it just should just work there. Then I'm going to see if I can boot Linux using the PCI Express SSDs. Then I will try to get macOS booting later since it shouldn't be more complicated. Then in the end I'm going to do a few benchmarks. I'm expecting 1 gigabyte per second of storage performance and that is faster than the current Mac Pro. The Power Mac 5 won't easily boot from PCI Express attached storage without a bit of open firmware wizardry. So I'm going to use the disks attached to the onboard SATA controller to initiate boot up until the file system are mounted, then continuing the boot process from the PCI Express attached disks once they are mounted and available. Linux should be easy. All I need to do is to mount the boot directory to a partition created on a disk attached to the onboard SATA controller, and then mount the rest on the PCI Express SSD. macOS should be more complicated. I'm going to need to do some research to see the best way of doing it. Preliminary checks indicate it should be perfectly possible to mount different parts of the macOS directory structure to different physical disks, but if necessary, I will brute force my way through with sync links. The stars of our show are, well, my Quad G5 and my chosen option for storage, the Tempo SSD internal SATA controller. The web page indicates it's compatible with Power Mac G5s. For this project, I, I chose the Sonnet SSD PCI SSD ad the adapter uh, because it stated compatibility with Power PC Max. I'm a bit worried now because, well, the web page um, states compatibility with. Power Mac G5s, but here the box mentions only Mac Pros and not Mac OS Leopard, but only Snow Leopard. I'm gonna give it a shot anyway because, well, I have it with me now and I even bought two for the ultimate and fastest Power PC Mac ever. But, well, let's see how it goes, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna unbox this now and then install an SD, SSD on each one of them to see if they are working fine. So, as I have already mentioned, the, fir the front of the box here mentions compatibility with Mac Pro, Mac OS, Snow Leopard and Windows PCs. And you can mount one or two SATA drives, this extension thing should be included and then you can connect the second SSD to the 
here connector. On the back we have some descriptions of you know read and write speeds, compatibility with Mac Pro and desktop PCs or iMacs with and MacBooks with external enclosures and uh, the XMac mini server kind of that turns your Mac mini into a rackable device yeah, and a rackable server and it includes some PCIe slots and you connect it via Thunderbolt. Well, let's see how it goes. So I have scissors here. We just cut this, turn it around, and voila! Here, screws probably for the extension board. Some here shield or here plate, I don't know how they are called. And I don't know why they are there because they seem to be the same length. It seems to be the same length as the one that comes with the card. Documentation CD. The extension plane, very nice touch. Screws are included here. And let's see. When we open this up. Nice board, not very complex. Actually, not complex at all. Has some LEDs here for drive activity and drive presence. The place where you s slide your card in and then use the screws from the box. So the extra screws are to connect probably one board to the other and then secure the second SSD there. On the back there's absolutely nothing. Actually now I see here that the second um, plate that comes with the board has two holes compared to the one that comes installed that has none. I honestly don't know what this is for. Maybe you can have some cable through or really no idea and I'm not gonna, not gonna change it because well I don't need it okay my next step is to remove the um, the SSD my test SSD from my server from one of my servers and oh that's that's really disgusting that's what happens when a computer is on for two or three years anyhow I'll take the SSD out of my test server and install it to the you to the card. From here it should be easy. I just have to slide this in. It goes in quite smoothly. I guess I have to turn the board around and get the screws that came in the small bag in and if I could stop shaking it would be fantastic first screws in Excellent, it is installed. Now the next fun part is to remove the beast from here. So I jump over, remove my two screen cables from behind. So, lift this here, side panel comes out, air cover 
comes out. All right, so well, I've just changed the lens because I need more light here. So I'm gonna choose here the top slot. I don't think it has ever seen a card. Just because it's the most distant from the graphics card. Slide the card in. The screw doesn't go in quite easy, quite easily back. I'm gonna get the extender. So that's how it looks like after the card is installed. Alright, so let's see what's going on here. We go to about this Mac, we go to more info. So you're gonna see here that I currently have no it's serial ATA. I currently have two devices connected to the system logic boards ATA bus and they are set to RAID 0 and that's my bootable disk. Yeah? Those are SATA 2 SSDs, so they work very well with the SATA 1 bus. And I got here unknown a HCI standard controller, two times, so one for each port. And on the first one here, I've got the SATA device that I've just installed. So let's go to disk inutility. And let's format this. Confirming it's this the device that I'm using, so I'm not gonna you know end up formatting some disk I shouldn't format. Let's make it one partition uh, PCI SATA <coughs> full size apply. And let's see. Now the test I'm gonna do is, well, I have now a RAID 0 configuration on my system drive that uses in the, the independent buses. Yeah, so there are two different uh, SATA 1 buses. And since I'm getting data from two independent buses through PCI Express into a SATA 3 device, I should get no bottlenecks. So let's see how fast it goes. I have the Debian Linux image here, and that is 360 megs. Well, it's not that large. Ah, there's explain here, but it's gonna be a bunch of small files. Yeah, let's go for the single large file. So this is even larger, 480 megs. Excellent. So let's open this. And we can also open Activity Monitor. We'll go to Disk Activity. And we drag these two here in. And we get that's not much, I would expect more. 37.36 megabytes per second. Mm, not cool, not cool. 
let's see the other way around Seventy seven megabytes per second, eighty six megabytes per second. Maybe I should try for a larger file. I would expect more, but I bought a really, really uh, crappy hard drive. Well, that SATA hard drive is really bad. It's the cheapest I could find, it's just for tests. So later on, I will try with a better device and let's see how it goes here. Yeah.